Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since my last K40 laser update. A lot's happened, uh, plans have changed, I ended up using the laser cutter a lot sooner than I thought I was going to. Originally I was going to do all the modifications first before I actually turned on the unit and started using it. But uh, two things happened. One, I'm impatient. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, there was a project I wanted to finish that I actually bought the laser cutter for and I wanted to get a bunch of acrylic cut. The other thing is I realized that I didn't want to do the modification where I swapped the controller out without having used the unit first to make sure it was actually even working. I didn't want to like end up with a broken laser cutter and not know whether it was the controller change or whether there was something wrong at the start. So I got a notebook with windows on it and I got uh, the K40 Whisperer set up with it and I started doing some cutting. And all in all it's been pretty hit and miss I have to say. Um, I had a lot of problems with uh, alignment of the laser beam and the mirrors. I've gone through multiple passes, uh, hours long each pass trying to realign the mirrors. It's been a very frustrating process. I've got it fairly okay now but I think it's just going to be in a, a you know, something I need to do every once in a while until I nail the technique of getting everything aligned. I'm going to go over the things that I've done. I've got the air assist in, I've got a new bed in. As of today, my Cohesion 3D Mini is in and working, so I'm now using Lightburn, which is awesome because I get to use my Mac. And what else have I done? I've got uh, the air exhaust in, and yeah, I've done quite a few things with a few more to go. So let's uh, go have a look at the unit. Okay, let's start off with the electronics. So as you can see at the back, I've got a 24 volt power supply, a separate power supply, which I'm running the Cohesion 3D Mini on, which is this controller board here. So it's literally just a, a drop-in board replacement for the existing nano that was there. And it's just a, some slightly different wiring, kind of a bit hard to see in here. The lighting is not fantastic in my garage. And of course I've got some ribbon cables coming out and I've got the controller for the Cohesion sitting outside right now. Uh, one of my next plans is to go and redo the controller board here which is obviously looking like this at the moment. I need to remove this whole panel, cut this out, move it over to the side and make room for the Cohesion Mini panel and then cut a new piece of acrylic to go there for a new control panel. So yeah there's a little bit more work to do here but it's all functional and working. I know not everyone puts a separate power supply in. There's uh, quite a few threads on the Cohesion 3D Google group about using a separate power supply. I just uh, went for it. Okay, the next thing I've got is, let's make sure this stays up so it doesn't fall on me. Okay, so we have air assist set up using a uh, cable drive chain going all the way there and then out the back which is pretty cool. Right now I've just got this tape on here to keep the silicon from rubbing over here. Uh, my plan is to actually lift the, the drive chain a little bit higher. Uh, the reason I haven't yet is, as you can see, there's actually a light, an LED light in there. So there's not enough room to lift it higher. So I'm going to swap those two around and move the light down and the drive chain up. The other thing I put in today is a new bed. So this is a stainless steel bed. It's actually takes up the whole area and it's set to roughly the exact height within two millimeters of my uh, ideal focal length which is 50.8 on this particular lens and so once I put the acrylic down if it's a two millimeter acrylic then I'm one mil short and if it's a six mil acrylic I'm one mil high so I did that intentionally right now because I have extra sheets of the stainless steel which is one mil thick that I can lay down so if I want to do a 2mm acrylic cut, I can put an extra sheet of stainless steel down and then put the acrylic on that and it gives me my perfect height. So that's all in and working, which is great. So if you excuse the mess back here, as you can see, I've got my extraction hose in and I've got that taped off with the aluminium tape to keep a nice seal. That uh, cable over here is the air extraction coming out and of course the water cooling. The air extraction right now just goes to a compressor that's sitting down here which is a two valve compressor. So it's uh, when one is pumping, one is sucking. Gives me a nice even flow and it's actually quite quiet. So originally I was gonna use the air compressor that you would've seen in my earlier videos and I was using it and boy was it loud. It was so loud that I couldn't even be in the garage when it was running and uh, my neighbors were starting to complain and my wife and kids were starting to complain about the noise. So this compressor is about a uh, hundred times quieter, which is fantastic. Right now the, this hose is a bit long for the air extraction, but uh, my plan is to actually move the unit up against the wall over here where those chairs are right now. But as you can see that hose is going all the way up 
and it goes up. Oh, can't go any further. It goes all the way up to the roof, um, but goes out sideways just below the roof line. So I've got all my air extraction going up and out and high, so it's not just hovering outside. So that's the K40 at the moment. It's working great, as I said. A uh, bit hit and miss with the, uh, the quality of the cuts, but that's purely just a focal and alignment issue. I'll uh, keep you posted in an upcoming video as I fix the panel. See you later.